appreciate you coming out this afternoon. I, I just want to thank again the organizers for this opportunity to, for a change, talk about the environment in a forum, which is uh, very refreshing for me. And, and as I think I've already said, I've been campaigning now for almost 10 years, trying to bring about a green ideas and green values to my writing, Sandwich Gulf Islands. And, and what I found over the years is that, that most people are what I call small g greens. They, act, they actually understand and the issues, they understand some of the uh, complex problems we face. What the difficulty with voting green in the past is, is uh, like any party, any small party, it's about building trust. And I think over the years, this, by being consistent, by being principled and staying true to my beliefs and my values and communi communicating what I believe in and trying to reach out to people on green issues, I think I am beginning to build that trust to help uh, make a breakthrough in this election. And it's fantastic that other parties are adopting our policies. This is, this is wonderful. This is why voting green is, continues to be so important. Because really, we can't, I don't believe we can affect change from within some other party. We have, the only thing that the liberals, for example, listen to is the threat of losing votes. And by continuing to vote green, you are actually helping push other parties into adopting green, uh, green principles and green values and green ideas. So in this election, we have a remarkable opportunity to actually elect a Green in this riding. This is one of the top five ridings in Canada, and the Green Party of Canada has acknowledged that. We're running a strong campaign, and uh, we're up there with the other guys, and we think by defeating Gary Lunn and electing a Green will make the biggest change. You know, if you want to vote Green, you may as well vote for the real thing. Thank you.